coming and thank you for supporting the project in all the different forms and uh, you know your time basically your memories your money and uh, your, your, your the memorabilia the photos the scripts that you can see today and this we have so much more on young people and I'm very very pleased with the with you know our Banner Theatre has also helped to shape my family I mean I've got my son downstairs who's, who's part of Infamous Community Arts and he's worked with Banner Theatre since he was 14 I've got my granddaughter two of my granddaughters here you know my son's partner Stella who did a lot of the work here and, 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 and is, is, is part of that I, mean, I think Banner Theatre you know has helped to shape the ideas inspired people more than you realise, in my opinion. And I think, you know, people have come and joined the road as fellow travellers for a while, and they've done other things. But a lot of people that have been impacted by Banner Theatre, or had the experience with Banner Theatre, basically, it inspires them to do other creative things. Whether you're in the tour room, or working in the train, in the paint or on the line, you've got to fight to win. Don't let the bastards pick you off, keep the pressure on. If we go in together now, unity is strong. And Fisher's drove a sally on, and down at Common Lane. At Cowley and at Longbridge, the war goes on the same. And be it Ford and Honda, that's an amber show. You fight to get a living wage of capital and coal. Community of amazing people. Um, and I think, um, you know, that's been a gift, really. Um, you know, I, I, I didn't always think of it as such because it made me very different <laughs> from my peers, from my friends, you know. Um, more often than not, I find me parked at the back of a miners' welfare, colouring while my dad was performing. Yeah, many, many years of getting in the back of a banner van with all the joys of that experience going up and down the country. Early memories from being in the Goat Club um, with, you know, the amazing people around, really, with their stories, with their songs. The Chileans growing up, um, you know, uh, the Chileans having come over here after the coup, um, being really inspired by their kind of music and culture. And I think that's definitely something that's, um, that's stayed with me all of my life. And, in many ways has contributed to my own interest in Latin America. You were just a toddler, flotsam on the shore. You could have been my grandson or the little boy next door. With your tiny shorts and t-shirt clinging to your skin. A scrap of human garbage For the Euro refuse bin One more for the body count Our little refugee Small boy Small boy, how did you come to harm? Torn by the cruel sea from your father's arms. Did you reach out for your sister's hand, oh little refugee? Did you hear your mother's awful cry? As you sank into the deep Yeah, they call you illegal immigrant Little refugee
I think it's an amazing project because it, what it's actually doing is collecting together a lot of people who worked with Banner in the past and who up to now uh, whose voices haven't really been heard, whose wealth of experience has not been really recognised. And so I think that it's, um, it's incredible that um, Jacqueline and Dean have got together and, and undertaken this work and particularly putting together, I think also this day, I'm absolutely bowled over by all the uh, material that they've managed to collect by a group of people that they've assembled. And um, it really does take you right back to the times when we were sort of all active together. Catherine talking. Imagine you are completely ignored. No one wants to listen to you. No one wants to hear from you. No one wants to know anything from you. You are somewhere that you can you can not speak their language. You don't understand their culture. You don't understand the social life that they go on daily basis. And you are completely destitute and every month you get a letter from home office saying get ready you're going to be deported um, and suddenly they put you on a stage and telling you you are there everybody listen to you that's your platform say what you want to say all the eyes on you and they tour you around the country that everybody to listen to you. That was my story with Banner Theatre. <laughs> kind of stronger person, you know? And the support, the amount of support I got from Banner Theatre was unbelievable, even from Dave's family. I must mention Joyce, how much support I got from Joyce, unbelievable. Dave Rogers opened the house for me, and I had access to the house as my house, my home. So even my social life transmitted completely. Suddenly, you don't have any friends, you don't have family, and all those people became your family, your friends, and they want you, they listen to you. And they, they, they sit down hours and hours and say, okay, tell me your story, what's your story? So I joined Banner in 1992, and so there's an awful lot of history was already present when I turned up at the audition. The, this event tonight, this performance is possibly the second most frightening thing after that audition that I've done. <laughs> and there's nothing, there's, there's nothing quite like performing to your peers, but the, um, the audition consisted of Dave, Dave Dale, uh, Tim and Jacqueline, and was very cunningly planned. I can't believe I got in, really. Uh, and that was the beginning of what became a really important part of my life, and that's a fundamentally changed the way I thought about things and has influenced me ever since. We need more laws to protect us. We should never forget. The authorities know what they're doing. When our way of life's under threat, it's no longer right to ask questions. We should not seek to excuse Causes do not concern us We have too much to lose
So that was a sort of chaotic life that we led in, in Banner. It was a wonderful time. It was a difficult time. At times it was impossible. But it's, I have some very happy memories of all the times that we had in there. What I would like to do is I'd like to thank various people. First of all, I'd like to th uh, thank the Banner children, and in particular Catherine. <laughs> they survived that period it was <laughs> so difficult but it, amazingly they have all turned out as incredible <coughs> strong balanced talented committed individuals secondly I'd like to thank Dave because Dave was one of the first in Banner and look he's still here today we are, and we've come here today because we think it's important because Banner gave us a voice during the minor strike. They inspired us to sing, just the group. They gave us courage, they gave us strength, they gave us support. And they've always been there, and they've been there for not only us, they've been there for every struggle that I know, every, every, every struggle that's ever happened, the being some women in Birmingham, they've been there. And they the true, they're, they're, it's just true, it's just the truth. It isn't our words, it's our words, it's our stories. So we couldn't let today go past. We love them. <laughs> yeah. We love Banny. Banner have taught us everything we know. They've been brilliant. And then Paul asked us up to sing and we've totally ballsed it up. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. So it was it? Right. It was. It was no. Right. So I might just mine it. The year of the strike and the fifth day of March 85. They can say that we lost, they can say what they like, but that was the year of our lives. And we've no regrets, we've no regrets, the flame continues. We won't forget, we won't forget, united we will return. The day kind of sums up my whole, my whole experience with Banner so far. It's, it's so lovely to meet the people um, from the past and hear the stories of all, you know, all the shows and all the happenings and the legacy of... What, so it's, it's making me even more proud to be a part of something that's, that's, that's had so much history that's still going. After Banner, I left Birmingham. I went to Manchester, I worked in Manchester, I worked in Liverpool. I then came back to Birmingham and for 17 years I was the artistic director of the Drum Arts Centre. I was also, I'm also the festival director of Samardown Festival, which has become the biggest free reggae festival in the UK. I'm the festival director for Glunder Festival and I'm also co-director of a company called Collaboration and currently I'm a, a guest programmer at Luton Culture. All of these organisations that I've mentioned, if it wasn't for Banner and the work that I did with Banner, and the influence and the impact that Banner had upon me as an artist and as a creative producer, I don't think that I would have been able to do any of those jobs. So Banner impacted upon me, particularly at a moment in my life where it was a formative period, it was a seminal period. So there's a huge credit that's due to the comrades in Banner. Stunned by how well it's going. Um, the, the contributions that people have made have been so moving and so funny. Uh, it's an incredible slice of the, of the past, really. And it's also, uh, for me, the, the, the stuff that, that I find absolutely striking is that we've managed to find enough people to talk about various aspects of the work and various projects at various times as well. I mean, the, bear in mind that we're covering f over four decades. That's really fallen into place very, very nicely. So I'm very grateful to uh, you know all the participants, all the speakers, anybody who's sung a song or, or, or contributed a photo or 
you know, and, and also the people who've helped, uh, helped us with the day, like you, Mogs, like Tim, like, uh, you know, the lovely people like Infamous, and uh, all our friends, you know, it's, it's just been extraordinary. Uh, so, you know, thank you for helping, and uh, long live Banner Theatre. Burns, baby, burns. This kind is I like. Yeah.